Welcome to the VB Map Transition Assessment. This will be the final assessment in the VB Map. The VB Map Transition Assessment comprised of several summary measures from the milestones assessment and the barriers assessment as well as a variety of other skills that can impact transition overall it looks at 18 assessment areas that can help to identify whether a student is making meaningful progress and has acquired the skills necessary for learning in a less restrictive environment. This is an important assessment tool for helping parents and educators work together as an IEP team to make decisions and set priorities in order to meet the student's educational needs. No single skill item or score is a lone determiner of success or placement. Rather, the key is to look at the transition assessment holistically. You will find scoring information for the transition assessment starting on the page 127 of the VB map guidebook and the scoring form starting on page 30 of the VB map protocol book. The electronic copy of this form is located on a tab in the same master scoring form you downloaded at the beginning of this course. If you turn to page 30 of the protocol book, you will notice that similar to the milestone assessment, the score ranges from 1 to 5. Some scores are summary scores from the other sections of the VV map, such as the milestones and barriers assessments. For most of the assessments, the score is a very clear. For example, the first score comes from the milestone assessment. If the student scored between 136 and 170 on the milestones assessment, the student receive a 5. However, if the student scored 135 on the milestone assessment, they receive a four. However, some items such as number 13, adaptability to change, may require additional consideration. You are looking for the criteria that best fits the student's typical daily behavior. If a student seems to fall between two scores lower we want to make sure that we have prepared the student for the success across skill sets before moving on to a less restrictive environment let's take a closer look at the item 14 spontaneous behaviors this item is looking at verbal behaviors and social skills but instead of using a composite score it's using your own observations of the student to determine the score let's walk through this step by step again you're using the paint fill option in the same color as the milestone and the barriers assessment. If our student will text everything in the room and man for items but rarely admits interverbal, we all we would give them a score of three. 
The next section, item 15, requires you to first add scores from the independent play sections of the milestone assessment in all three levels and then use the score to determine the score for this section of the transition assessment. For example, if our student scored 5 and level 1 of the milestones assessment, 2 in the level 2 and then 0 in the level 3, they would receive a score of 2 in this section. The sum of these scores is 7 and since the score of 3 requires 8 points from this section of milestone assessment, we have to choose the score below. This is what the form looks like after the two assessments. Notice that it is in two different colors so that you can tell that this is two separate administrations of the assessment. Visually, you can see that the student has made a lot of progress. This is a great form to share with families. Students' progress is a celebration for the family and the teacher as well as the student.